I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we have a special episode for you. Today I'm doing a collaboration with Gretchen of Gretchen's Bakery. We're going to be doing a back to school theme this time and she's going to be making some delicious apple pop tarts and I'm going to be making these awesome gluten free, dairy free, egg free, protein packed breakfast cookies. Let's go see what goes into these. All right, I'm gonna do a, a real quick overview of the ingredients that go into these breakfast cookies. These are really gonna be a great option for the beginning of the school year or any time, really. Um, grab a couple of these on your way out the door. You or your kids are gonna love these as an option for a quick breakfast. You know, we all sleep in, we all oversleep, we all hit that snooze bar once too often. This is a really great way to get some protein and some fiber into you in the beginning of the day and it's quick and it's easy and it's delicious. You can mix these up any way you want. You can change up the, the mix-ins and I'll talk about that in a minute. But before we go any further, I would like to say that this video is a collaboration between myself and Gretchen over at the Gretchen's Bakery channel. I've been following Gretchen for a very long time. This is her third, I believe, incarnation of a channel and I just love her. Um, you know, as Jersey girls, we gotta stick together. She's gonna be making some homemade Pop-Tarts that are gonna be a great after-school snack. This is a back-to-school collaboration. I'm so excited to do it with her. Been wanting to do a collab with Gretchen for a super long time and today is the day. Okay, without further ado, the ingredients are three mashed bananas, two cups of old-fashioned rolled oats, one cup of a nut butter of your choice, today we're using almond butter, one cup of dried fruit of your choice, today I'm using chopped dates, one cup of chopped nuts of your choice, today I'm using pecans, one half cup of coconut oil, a half cup of pure maple syrup, a half cup of honey, a half cup of ground golden flax seed, a half cup of whole wheat or gluten-free flour, a half cup of whey protein or whatever your favorite protein powder is. If you don't have protein powder, add an extra half a cup of flour. A half a cup, I'm sorry, a quarter of a cup of sunflower seeds, a quarter of a cup of hemp seeds, and then we have a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. That's it. Now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix this all up. All right, so we're gonna mix up our wet ingredients. So we'll put in our banana, our almond butter, and like I said, you can use whatever is your favorite nut butter. Then we're gonna go in with our coconut oil. This is gonna make a nice, chewy, delicious, soft breakfast cookie. That was our maple syrup and here goes our honey. And we'll give this a good whisk. You can get that all really, really well incorporated. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in our dry ingredients. Oats, flax seed, hemp, hemp seed, all of it, <laughs> sunflower seeds. This is some whey protein from Bob's Red Mill. And this is a gluten-free flour blend because it was there and I just decided to use it. have to use it up anyway. Our salt, our cinnamon, our baking soda, and then we're going to go ahead and give this a stir. Now, this should be approximately this consistency. It's like a regular cookie dough type situation. Now, depending on the weather or the temperature in your kitchen or any number of things, if it's humid outside or whatever, your batter or cookie dough may be a little loose. At that point, you're gonna wanna add maybe a half a cup more of the flour and or a half a cup to a cup more oats and just let this sit for a few minutes. I'm gonna clean up, then we're gonna come back and we're going to dole these out on a cookie sheet. All right, we're just scooping our cookie dough onto our baking sheet, and I'm doing a, a quarter cup scoop. This is a number 16 scoop. It's approximately a quarter of a cup large. 
So, what you want to do after you get them scooped out, just give them a little bit of a pat down with a wet spoon. And I'm just using the back of the wooden spoon that I use for mixing. This is going to help them retain their shape, but they are going to spread a bit. All right. Okay, we're gonna put these in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes or until they're just puffed and a little bit brown around the edges. And we'll be back when they're done and show you what they look like. And there you have it. These, I need to make a couple of corrections for you. The recipe will be available on my website and it will have all of the adjustments that I made while I made these today. It's very warm and very humid here. So uh, these came out perfectly and I want you to have the same result when you make yours. Now, I said in the beginning of the video that I was using two cups of oats. I actually ended up using three cups of oats. I also said I was using a half a cup of gluten-free flour blend and I ended up using one entire cup. The blend actually ended up being perfect. I got exactly 24 breakfast cookies and these cookies are stupendous, if I do say so myself. They're puffy and they're soft and they're delicious. You can seriously taste the almond butter and um, everything that, go, that went in here. It's just delicious. It really is gonna make a nice, like breakfast for you on the go. I think this is gonna fill you up. It's gonna stay with you. It's got a lot of soluble fiber. And like I said before, I is a very open of the video, I said, these are gluten-free, they are egg-free, and they are dairy-free. We put no butter, we put no milk, we put no eggs, we put gluten-free flour blend, I used coconut oil, and the way that we got around using any eggs is because I used ground golden flax and it was it, it helped us to make this delicious puffy soft really wonderful textured breakfast cookie it's it's like a muffin cookie almost and uh, you want to taste it mm -hmm. chock full of those dates and and pecans mm -hmm. yeah, it's like eating a muffin it tastes like a muffin. You're gonna love them. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I also wanted to say, you could change up. Now I put dates and pecans in mine. You could put raisins, you could put, oh, dried cherries, dried apricots, walnuts, almonds, uh, hazelnuts, whatever you have. You can put peanuts. And uh, I also said that, I said to Rick earlier, you could throw a cup of chocolate chips in here. I don't think anybody would complain about that. Like a loaded oatmeal cookie. It really is. It's just really, really delicious. And I know that you're going to love these. And I know that your kids are going to love these. You can make these to suit your family's particular taste. So, that is how you make some delicious breakfast cookies that are gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, but so full of deliciousness you're not going to believe it these you'd never guess they were gluten-free they're so good so i hope that you will give this a try please be sure to go over and check out the gretchen's bakery channel and while you're there make sure you hit that subscribe button because i know you're going to love what gretchen brings to the table every single week she's a classically trained pastry chef and she has owned a bakery and she does amazing things and i know you're going to love her she's going to be making apple pop tarts and those are going to be great for early morning school days and just throwing in your bag and getting on the way. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did please consider giving me a thumbs up and if you're not already please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give these gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, amazingly delicious breakfast cookies a try and I hope that you love them and I hope that you go check out Gretchen's Bakery and I hope that you love her too. And until next time, I'll see ya. Hi everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. And today we went to the uh, farm store. I talk about Henry and Shorty's country store all the time when I am 
enjoying my cooking videos, so I thought it might be fun to show you a haul. Today is Saturday, and we usually do make a trip out there either on Friday or Saturday. And they had so many wonderful things, we couldn't stop. <laughs> so, we usually always...